Is there anything better than a big bowl of clam chowder on a crisp fall day? Now, a lot of people clam up when they think about making this at home because, you know, clams. But the good news is that even in a landlocked state, you can find really great fresh clams or you can use canned clams. Today, we're making chowder. This is the dinner net. To make clam chowder today, we are cooking three very different clam chowder recipes. One from a popular website, one from the first page of Google, and one from an off-the-grid site. Let's get started. Today we are going to foodnetwork.com, maybe you've heard of it, and this is a recipe from Dave Lieberman. If you don't know Dave, he is one of my early chef crushes. I actually had his cookbook, uh, Young and Hungry, it was one of the first cookbooks I ever got out of college. And this is his clam chowder recipe. So we're gonna give it a shot today. It starts with a little bit of butter in a big pot. We're gonna cook everything basically in this one pot. So some butter goes in. That's gonna melt while we chop up some of our aromatics here. I'm gonna start with a whole onion. This is what Dave recommends. You want a pretty fine dice on this onion. It's, you know, it's gonna be soup and we're not gonna blend it or anything, so you don't want any huge chunks of onion in there. This onion's all going in here. This is a really basic chowder recipe. I mean, it just has classic onion, celery flavors. We're gonna do our other half of onion here. Onion's going in. And then we're gonna do two stalks of celery too. And I'm just gonna kinda, you want these to be the same piece, same size pieces as the onion. So I'm gonna cut these down into like thirds, like that. And then just a quick dice. The good news is this is really the only chopping you have to do for this whole recipe, so. All right, we're gonna give this a stir. So you don't want these to brown at all. You just want them to soften a little bit. And we're gonna maybe season them with a little salt and pepper. Wonderful. Let's add some flour to this. This is just all purpose flour, nothing fancy. This is gonna start thickening our soup up into that delicious like creamy chowder consistency. So this all goes in. And you just wanna cook it for a minute or two to cook out the flour taste there. So we're adding chicken stock. We are adding some delicious cream. That's gonna make it super creamy. And the secret ingredient, clam juice. Now this recipe uses canned clams. So you wanna save the clams and then portion off the clam juice. We're gonna add in the clams later. These are already chopped, so they come out of the can pretty much ready to go. Let's talk about canned clams. They're fine to use in soup. Now, would I use these as like an appetizer or something like that, just eat them out of the can? Not my personal favorite, although I know people that do it. But for a soup like this, they work great, they're super fast, and they're more economical than using the fresh clams. Let's keep going on our soup here. I'm gonna add the stock first. I don't think the order really matters, but I wouldn't add the cream first because it might burn, but stock first. Just kind of stir this together. and it'll immediately start to thicken as you stir it in. Beautiful. So there's all our stock. Then we're gonna add all of the clam juice that we got from those cans of clams. And then we're gonna add our cream. So all this goes in and then we're gonna bring this up to a simmer. We're gonna put two bay leaves in as this simmers. That's not two, that's more than two. There we go, two. All chowder recipes have potatoes. These are just normal Idaho russet potatoes. You wanna cube them up. They go in as well. And those are gonna cook in the chowder. So the longest part about this recipe is making sure the potatoes are cooked. So we're gonna let that simmer. Let's read some reviews while we uh, cook this chowder. All right, Dave's Chowder. Five star review from Susan M. I guess this website is for the average person who loves to cook but is not a chef. I guess Susan doesn't know what Food Network is. I'm not really this, you know, who knows. But anyway, that's me. I love this recipe. It was quick, easy, and tastes awesome. Thanks, David. From your want-to-be chef, lol. Well, that's a good, I mean, that's good. Sounds like it tastes good. This, 
The funny thing about that review is it was posted 14 years ago. I think that this might be the first recipe on the entire internet. It seems to be very old. So uh, Dave wrote it a long time ago, I guess. Okay, let's read a one-star review. This is from Marcus Jacobs. Two cups of chicken stock and one cup of cream. And this is supposed to yield six to eight servings. Am I serving this soup out of teacups? Give me a break. This is enough for one person. Make sure you quadruple the recipe if you want leftovers. Don't quadruple this recipe. It has 20 ounces of clams in it. Unless you are Joey Chestnut, you're not gonna eat all this yourself. I'm not really sure uh, what's going on there. This looks like a lot of soup to me. So maybe not six servings, but definitely, definitely four. Let's hurry up the simmering process. We are now simmering. So you wanna simmer this basically until the potatoes are done. Uh, that's, your, that's your test. So I can try one real fast here. Hmm. got good flavor. Dave does something cool. He serves it with these pan croutons. These are like big chunky croutons that uh, he seasons with parsley, salt, pepper, cooks them in butter. I think this is actually gonna be pretty delicious. Once this is simmered and your potatoes are done, then you can add in your clams because you don't want to overcook them. So we're gonna add in our chopped clams and stir that all together. And then our chowder is pretty much done. All right, so let's ladle some up, see how we did here. Cool, all right, so here's our chowder. So to garnish this, I'm just gonna use some of these awesome pan croutons that Dave recommends. Throw on a few of those. And then maybe garnish with a little fresh parsley is always good. All right, this is our popular Dave Lieberman clam chowder. Give it a shot, see how we did. Mmm, you know, it's super creamy. The right kind of seasoning. Try one of these croutons. That might be on team crouton for chowder. Really good clam flavor, actually. I don't understand what the reviewer is talking about. This is more than enough chowder for six people. This is a lot. So if, if a dude is eating this by himself, that is impressive. So uh, really good recipe. I think if you're a starter home cook and you wanna try clam chowder, this is a really awesome recipe to try out. Let's move on to our second recipe we're gonna try today. This next clam chowder is from the first page of Google. For our top 10 clam chowder recipe today, we are going to a website called damndelicious.net. Uh, and this is a super popular food blog, has really down to earth recipes, generally like really fast, approachable stuff beautiful photography, so I definitely recommend you check it out. There's some differences between this recipe and the popular recipe we did. For starters, uh, it uses bacon. So I already have some bacon kind of browning in my skillet here. And uh, this is gonna be the starting point for this recipe is some browned bacon, which is gonna make this, the chowder really rich, really delicious. So we're gonna do that. The other change is this recipe actually uses less clams than our popular one. So it uses two cans, uh, two six ounce cans of clams. We're gonna use the juice and the clams just like in the first recipe. So we have some bacon browning. While that's going, I'm gonna chop an onion, chop some garlic, and we will be in business. Onion done. So I'm gonna pull out our bacon now. It's looking pretty brown. And you can leave about a tablespoon or so of the bacon grease in there. If you have a few little bacon stragglers, it's not the end of the world. And then we're gonna add some butter to this. All of our onions going in as well. Mm. Okay, some garlic. Few cloves of garlic. All right, so our garlic's going in. Ooh, our onions are getting a little toasty. Okay, stir these. Gonna hit them with a little salt. Oh, also, a little thyme. This is a nice, mmm. 
a little flour goes in. That's gonna thicken up really nice. While that's cooking, let's uh, bust open our clams here. So yeah, you just open them, can opener. And you have some options, but for this version, I'm just gonna drain these right into the, uh, to the soup. So here we go, ready? There we go, and we're gonna save our clams for later. This is like a fast way to do it. Little pro tip. Just drain them right into your soup because you want all that delicious clam juice. That's where a lot of the flavor comes from. So then our stock goes in and this is already getting nice and thick here. Give this a stir. All right, then we have our milk and we're gonna save the half and half for later actually. You don't wanna add it right now. So we have all of our potatoes are gonna go in those are just diced russet. Stir this together. And this will really thicken up nicely as it, uh, as it cooks. I can tell already this recipe is a little chunkier than Dave's recipe. There's more kind of add-ins. Dave's had more of like a soup base to it. This is like a chunky, chunky chatta. Chunky, chunky chatta. All right, let's read some reviews while we're waiting for this to, uh, to do its thing. So Alyssa says on this recipe, five stars out of five, said, I made this for dinner tonight and it was a huge hit. Hubby requested about a gallon more and the kids gobbled it down, rated it five stars. Asked if I could make it again tomorrow. I added some diced carrots and celery to the onion since I had them in the fridge and seasoned with half and half mixture of pink salt and soy sauce. Uh, okay. I. I can't say I've ever heard of soy sauce in a chowder recipe, but uh, you know, you do you, Alyssa, you do you. Okay, then Megan gave this three out of five stars. Megan says, being from New England, oh no, here we go, being from New England. See, I knew this was gonna come into play. Being from New England, I was not a fan of this. It did not have a nice clam flavor, like at home. I typically make with real clams, and this could be why. Also typically use chicken stock, not vegetable stock. I likely won't use this recipe again. I'll go on the record and say that canned clams are actually still real clams. They're just not fresh, but they are in fact real. So, um, you know, we'll see. It's just a little shortcut. A lot of recipes use canned clams. Uh, we might get to a fresh clam recipe later, but I think it's okay to use canned in a soup. So I'm gonna try one of these potatoes and see how we're doing. Mmm, oh, the thyme is really nice. So once your chowder's simmering there, we are going to add in our clams that we have reserved. And then we are gonna season with a little bit of salt. Stir that all together. I might add a third can of clams. I'm gonna save some of the bacon as a garnish, but you can add some back in and a little fresh parsley also, just right at the end. Whew, that is a beautiful looking bowl of chowder, if I do say so myself. Let's give this guy a try. This one's ready to go. Don't forget your half and half. This thickens it up too. There we go. I thought it was looking a little light on the liquid, but that is bingo. Ladle, some chowder. This is the damn delicious chata. This one's chunky, I like that. It's got a lot going on in there. Not quite as much soup base to this one. Then I'm gonna garnish it with just a little bacon on top. This one uh, uses the classic little oyster crackers, recommends there, just a few of those. Then some fresh parsley. All right, we're gonna give this guy a try. Mmm. That's a really good flavor. I love the thyme in there. That's a really nice touch. Chunky, hearty. This would be wonderful on a cool day. Man, that was a really good recipe. Easy. I love the bacon addition of this one. And I think I like the celery more from the popular recipe. 
And I think I like the croutons a little better than the oyster crackers, but that's just me. But all in all, great chowder recipe. We are going to an off the grid chowder recipe now. And guess what? We're gonna use some real clams. Let's check it out. For our off the grid clam chowder recipe, we are going to a site called norecipes.com. Kind of funny because, um, you know, there's a lot of recipes on No Recipes. And in fact, I find Mark, who, who runs No Recipes, writes very exacting recipes. So it's kind of ironic that his site's called No Recipes. Anyway, uh, the fun thing about this recipe is it uses real clams. Boom. We're using real clams for this guy. So these are little neck clams. You can get these almost anywhere these days. Um, get them at a nice fish shop. Uh, you know, Whole Foods has them. And they're gonna be more expensive than the canned version for sure. And they're gonna be more work, as you'll see. But we'll see if it makes a difference in our final chowder. So to cook these, what you wanna do is you, when you bring them home, you wanna let them sit in some salt water, uh, just like some kosher salt and cold water in the fridge. And that'll really get out a lot of the sediment that's on the clams. Um, if you don't do that, you'll get some like gritty bits in the clams, which is not good, not good chowder. And then we're gonna steam these guys. So you want about a half a cup of water, whoo, steamy. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and put in all these clams, just dump them in. No magic to this, just in the pot. Try to spread them out a little bit. So we're gonna spread those out like that, and then we're gonna put the lid on. And those guys are gonna steam beautifully, and you know they're done when they pop open, basically. And you don't wanna add too much water to this pot because we're gonna use the cooking water as our clam juice, basically. So if you added too much water, it would be really watered down. So just like half a cup of water to develop a lot of steam, that's all you need. Uh, you don't wanna add, you don't wanna boil the clams. That's not what we're doing here, we're steaming them. So keep them out of the water. So let's read some reviews while we're, uh, while we're waiting for our clams to steam here. One of the comments is from Caroline. She says, this soup is gorgeous. Wow, that's a good adjective for soup, I like that. I love clam chowder, and I love how you've diced the vegetables so small. It seems to make it more delicate. Your photos are beautiful. So there were 28 comments on this recipe, and there were exactly zero negative comments of any sort. So we are going to proceed and assume that this is going to be a very classic, very delicious clam chowder recipe. Let's see how we're doing. Whoa, okay, we're getting there. See, some of these are starting to open up nicely. Oh yeah. Clam fact. Clams can't bite, which is one of the questions my five-year-old asked when I showed him these. Clams can have pearls, I believe. Uh, maybe we'll get an oil. That would be cool if we had a pearl. Could you imagine? Man, that'd be awesome. Pearl chowder, whew. All right, let's see, I think we're almost done here. All right, ready? I'm gonna pour these in to our bowl. Oh yeah, there we go. Look at that. Beautifully steamed clams. Mm. So let's pick some clams. Shuck, I think is the appropriate term. Shuck some clams. Clam shucked. And we wanna save this, the juice from the clams to use in the chowder. So I'm gonna pour off about two cups of this. And you don't wanna use the, there's probably a little bit of grit at the bottom. So leave a little bit in the, in the bowl. You should have just about two cups. If you don't have quite enough, that's okay. Mine's a little bit shy, but that's all right. We can add some water to it if you want. And then we're gonna start with some bacon in this. Uh, this recipe uses bacon. I really like bacon in my chowder, so we're gonna try it out here. And also this recipe uses a little bit of olive oil, so I'm gonna add that too. Stir this until our bacon gets really nice and crispy. And then we're gonna add some onion. Mark does a really fine dice on his uh, vegetables for this recipe. I like mine a little chunkier. It's, it's kind of personal preference, but if you like them finer, you can Chop them a little finer. A little bit of salt and pepper in here. And we're gonna stir this together. Looking good, smelling good. Fresh clam juice, cheers. No, I'm just kidding, don't drink the clam juice. 
All right, so we're ready to add our thickener now to this. And again, we're just using all-purpose flour. Sprinkle this in. And you just wanna cook that for a minute or two. All right, I'm gonna add the clam juice first. I think even a Bostonian would agree with this recipe. And then we're gonna add our milk. Now Mark says not to boil this once you add the milk. So we're gonna make sure our heat is low and we're just gonna bring it to barely a simmer because you don't wanna scald the milk. And to season this, he adds a little bit of marjoram. So I'm gonna sprinkle that in and some uh, bay leaf. Bay leaf, stir all that in. All right, I'm gonna add these potatoes. They're gonna go in. And you just wanna cook these on low heat until they're tender. And then for the clams, I like to chop mine a little bit. So these are, these are really nice and big clams right now. And if you just chop them, it makes for a little better chowder experience. Keep an eye on it, it's worth it to go slow here. Uh, just stir it every few minutes and you will be in chowder mode. Chowder heaven. Oh. Our pot is simmering here and we're gonna add in our chopped clams and then we're gonna give this a shot. Oh yeah, I like how there are like big chunks of clam in this one. The potatoes are nicely diced. Then I'm just gonna garnish this real simply, some fresh parsley and a few little crackers. All right, let's give it a shot. The no recipes off the grid, New England clam chowder. Boom. Mmm. Wow. It, you actually can t t tell a difference between the fresh clams and the canned. This is a really just like clean flavor to it. Um, very delicious recipe. It doesn't have very many ingredients, which I really like about this classic recipe. So make sure you use good quality for all of them and take your time to cook them right. If you wanna make clam chowder at home, here's some tips. First, canned clams are actually okay. But if you're making this for a special occasion, it might be worth it to hunt out some really fresh little neck clams. But if all you can find are the canned clams, don't make that a reason to not try to make a clam chowder recipe at home. Second, add some bacon. I thought both the recipes that had a little bacon were better, but also I liked the celery in the first, in the popular recipe. So maybe you do some celery, you do some bacon, make the best of both worlds. I like the croutons in the popular recipe. The pan roasted croutons were a really nice touch. I would take them over the oyster crackers any day of the week. And finally, give yourself some time for the potatoes. They take a while to simmer no matter what recipe you use. Don't rush them, let them simmer on low heat. You'll end up with a delicious clam chowder recipe at home. Hey, thank you all for watching The Dinner Net. We made some awesome clam chowder recipes today. If you don't mind, please subscribe to the Machismo channel and ring the little bell and share The Dinner Net with your friends. I would love to bring some new people into The Dinner Net world and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you want me to cook next on the next episode of The Dinner Net. See you soon.